All right guys, today we're installing a 5,000 pound Harbor Freight Badland winch onto the Talon and we're using a Rough Country bracket. The last bracket I used was from Super ATV. In general, I try not to use Super ATV for a lot of reasons, mostly because I think they're a bunch of pricks, but also because their stuff's pretty stupid and overpriced. So this bracket was cheaper and it's way smarter how it mounts. It ties into your upper control arm tabs, actually reinforces your tabs on the top control arm, which is cool. And yeah. The reason you can't mount the winch just to this bumper is because it's pretty flimsy. See how thin these tabs are here? So that's like part of the crumple zone. So you got to mount the winch to the frame here. A lot of the winch brackets for the Talon don't let you run a wide spool winch. That is key. You want to run a 5,000 wide spool so you can have a lot of rope on it and have a good gear ratio. Um, this winch is a little different than the Badlands ones I've run before. It comes with a different style of switch which will fit better in the Talon and it comes with a free half inch shackle. Um, obviously I'm going to take that shitty steel braided winch line off of there and put some synthetic rope on it and the talon was already pre-wired for a winch and it already has a spot for mounting the solenoid or the contactor so i'll show you guys all that here to come and of course i got the pizza rolls sustenance here's a sequence for you mid install so one thing i noticed is you have two slots you could put it in see so there's a one slot another slot uh, it's in the directions, it says to use the bottom holes, but if you put use the bottom holes, it makes the winch so close to these bottom bolt holes, it's a pain in the ass to get a wrench on them. So I decided to use the top holes. Uh, we'll see how it works out. It's pretty simple. Bolts on the upper control arm mount, gives you a longer bolt. And then you have this little bracket that comes around behind the frame, like that, and bolts in there, and you're good to go. There's a little spacer behind it too, but it's a pretty simple mount. Way easier to install than Super ATV. Like, a hundred times easier, which is great because if you have to take it off to replace it or ditch your diff or whatever, you're not going to be cussing as much. This is kind of a similar thing. Super ATV uses these on top and bottom, real stupid. Um, this is a much superior winch design. Hardware is pretty nice, nice washers and everything, so I really like it. All right, so the winch heavy duty hardware type stuff is installed. Took less than probably 20 minutes. Um, you do drill two holes for this, just like Super ATV bracket, very similar. It's trussed nice, it's very beefy, that's strong. Uh, and then the winch bolts in there just fine with the top hole. It did clear the bar right there. You can see it's enough clearance, so good to go. Top hole is the way to go. There's top four holes. There's two positions, top four, way to go. It also keeps the winch spool lined up better with this. And then you always want to wind your winch up the way it came. So for this, that means winding onto the bottom of the spool. Um, that's just how it was wound from the factory. You can run it both ways, but that's the right way to do it. And uh, usually you want to run as close to the bracket as you can, but because this winch mounts kind of facing up, that part of it doesn't matter, but I'm going to go down through here around the bottom of the spool. A lot of you guys tried to argue with how I did the one on the Can-Am. Um, sorry, I know more than you. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to put the synthetic on there. Again, same cheap synthetic from Amazon, 20 bucks, looks pretty good. And this is a Amazon... $10 fair lead. Um, this is a six inch one. That's a four and a half inch one on the quad. Six inch one goes with the wide spool. And it's going to look freaking mint. And it's a very cheap setup. The winch was $200. The rope's $20. This is $10. The bracket was like $60. So, very cheap winch setup that's going to look very stout and probably be pretty reliable. Of course, I have the wiring left to do. And I'll show you a few tips and tricks on that as well. Install the winch line with the fancy little knot I use. Best way to do it. If you're having a hard time figuring it out, I explain it in great detail in the Can Am winch install video. But that's what you want it to look like when you're ready to start spooling it. If you're smart to find the wires hidden up here, these are the winch wires that are factory in the factory harness. There's a black and a red. They're tucked way up here by the power steering cables. They're wrapped in blue tape. You gotta dig them out. Then you gotta undo the clips, and I like to cut the harness. See where I took a razor blade and went soup. That let me get the wires to reach over here to the relay, which will mount in the stock winch mount relay position. Very premium. So to open up the harness a little bit to get that slack out of them because they're taped up pretty good next to these other wires. Make sure you don't damage anything else in the process of doing that. Those are your headlight wires, your controls. Hook up the winch relay if you can't figure this out. Well, I'll try to talk you through it real quick. Um, this is just a two-phase, a two-way relay. So you have a ground, you have a hot, and you have a hot. The, the ground is already grounded here. I got power from the main wire here. So basically all your switch is going to do, it's going to give power to either this pole or this pole, and that's going to change your winch direction. Make sure your wires don't touch here. Put the booties on your hot wires, etc. Um, it's pretty easy. And then for the switch, um, the switch it came with was really nice, but it doesn't fit in the factory talon hole because the factory talon hole is really big. 
So I'm gonna try to get a switch that'll fit in this hole or maybe end up using this one. But it's a pretty nice switch, but I can't use it. So what I did temporarily was I just stuck the hand throttle in there, the hand switch, and then I put a screw kind of in the side of it to hold it in place. Not very pretty, but it's actually in there very sturdy and it'll work just fine until the switch goes out. These switches suck. That's just temporary. Now you gotta hook up the wire on the other end too. They don't, Honda doesn't give you, uh, you know, uh, whatever five gauge hot wire just sitting under the dash that'd be a disaster. So you gotta hook it up to the battery side too. This wire is also wrapped in the same blue tape. It's tucked up way here, way back here behind your solenoid. To get it out, you gotta pop off these 40 amp fuse holders, snake it out from behind there, hook it up to the battery, boom, good to go. Uh, you could also hook it up there, but I didn't wanna do that. So now I put all this stuff back. It's all pretty easy to snap off um, to get out of the way, to dig that wire out, take a razor blade, cut that blue off, hook up to your positive, and you're ready to start winching. So I'm gonna do that and test it out. This is about done. The wiring on a winch takes about as long as anything else if you're gonna do it half properly. Um, they come with all kinds of extra wire and stuff like this, and these big connectors. I get rid of all that because you're just asking for problems. Those are all pretty shitty connectors. These look okay, actually. These are kind of waterproof looking connectors, but again, um, Harbor Freight, you can pay for the winch, you're not getting a whole lot of wiring. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it up. I'm gonna roll it up. I'm only putting 50 feet on here because that's the only thing I could find. You could put 65 feet, a quarter inch rope on a wide spool, but this will be fine and we'll keep it from getting bird nested. So that's a plus. The winch is fully installed and functional. Again, I don't like using the hooks. I use a soft shackle. That's a pulley. Now, some people say, uh, you know, the talons, the electrical system needs dual batteries for a winch. If you winch a battery down really low, you'll have clutch problems. Uh, I did a lot of winching with my other one and never had any clutch problems. I suspect it's people not using a pulley when they should to keep the system running smoothly and they're bogging the motor down on their winch. Install went good, everything looks nice, the rope's not rubbing anywhere. Goes into the bottom of the spool pretty straight. You can see that it's kind of touching uh, this bar right here a little bit and that's just the nature of this winch mount. Um, it's not very bad and I'm not worried about it. If I had another, I don't know, 15 foot of spool on there, it might be a problem. So you could leave that bar off um, your winch if you felt like it. That's what I did on the last time I installed one of these. It's just the way that that winch mounts and ends up being close to that bar. But if you think about it, most of the time when you're winching, you don't have that much rope on the spool, so it won't be touching it. Um, I need to order an orange soft shackle to match the orange arms. Like the Can-Am has a yellow soft shackle to match the yellow bumper, obviously. Um, but you know, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it came out good. Which is our key? Which is our key? Switch works good. Boom. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below, and I probably won't answer them. But if you ask the question on the Muppet Q&A Facebook page, and you ask the question in an intelligent manner. I'll get you an answer almost immediately.